Hey everybody, so I'm here, I'm back, another video, and I'm going to start off by talking about my rags, my annotation giveaways, and the winner this morning was Glamorous Lena, and she's winning this Stila Plumping Lip Glaze, and it's brand new, so cool stuff, congratulations to Glamorous Lena. The video was actually in my updated makeup collection video, so it's still there if you guys want to see it for some strange reason. But she's going to win that. The next prize I'm going to give out or give away is this Too Faced Absolutely Invisible Translucent Powder. This is great for setting. I actually use this like four times. I forget. But um, I have a lot of setting powders, so it comes with the sponge and the plastic insert. Okay. So it looks like that. It's just like an invisible translucent powder to set your foundation with. So that's the next prize and it's from Too Faced. Looks like that. So be on a lookout. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the sidebar because you get seriously the most hints ever on Twitter because I basically tell you where they are. Sometimes I just tell you exactly where they are. Sometimes I like to make it more difficult. We'll see. But this is the next prize. So yep, that's that. I'm going to vlog a little bit. If you guys don't like video logs, or yeah, you guys vlog, duh. My hair is really disgusting and it's like still wet, but it's been like air drying for hours and it's still not dry. I don't understand why. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna put it up. <clears throat> anyway, so ew, it looks weird. Okay, whatever. So I'm going to make a video log because if you guys follow me on Twitter, okay, this is really annoying. If you guys, I'm just going to talk and do my hair. If you guys follow me on Twitter, um, Monday morning I got into an accident and I tweeted it. And it was honestly the scariest thing in my entire life. I've never been in a car accident before, before the one on Monday. So, you know, I just never had it an experience like that and it was the scariest thing ever and I'm okay obviously because I'm still here making videos for you guys but the lady who hit me she totaled my car I have no car right now and I'm sad I mean my car wasn't like you know a brand new like Mercedes or anything she actually had a Mercedes but I had like a really old car it was just something to get me from A to B I'm not really picky because a car is a car. When I was 16, I wanted like a brand new car. And now I realize, you know what? A car is a car. Like, oh my gosh, I need a car. Because right now I have no car and I feel so like vulnerable. Like I can't do anything and it's the worst thing ever. So she totaled my car. I had a Honda uh, uh, Accord. <laughs> I didn't think about that. And that thing was my baby. I drove it for like two, uh, like two three years. And I didn't... I didn't really take care of it because it was older and it wasn't the best looking car. When I got into the accident, she totaled my car. I was kind of sad because I don't have my Honda Accord anymore. And if you guys have been in an accident, you guys understand how scary it is. And if it was your car, it's kind of sad. Even though it was a crappy car, like, it was my car, you know? So, I don't have it anymore. So, it's totaled and... Yeah, that's what happened Monday. That's why I haven't been making videos all week because I've been trying to get things straightened out with the insurance company, with that lady that hit me, and she was a bitch. Like, let me tell you now, she was a fucking bitch. And I don't like cursing on my YouTube channel, but she pissed me off so bad. She hit me. I was, I was at a light, and I was the first one to go. My light was red, and then it turned green. And in my mind, hello, green means go. Okay, so I start going, and this bitch, she's coming this way. I'm, I'm going straight, so I'm going. She's coming this way. She has the red light, because mine's green, right? She's going, and she decides to run her red light, and she just hits me, and just, yeah. It was just so scary. The scariest thing ever. If you guys have been in an accident, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not, it's not something you, like, want to go through, <clears throat> but it makes you realize. It makes you think about a lot of stuff. Sounds kind of corny, but, Mom, I'm recording! Okay. But, yeah, so that was that. She hit me, and she knows she hit me. She got a citation. She got a ticket for running the red light, right? And then it took her this entire week to actually admit it. And I'm like, bitch, how are you not going to admit that you did it? 
Like, hello, you guys freaking tickets. Obviously, your fault. I I got no ticket because I didn't do anything. I didn't do shit. And you're over here, and you took you take an entire week to actually admit that it's your fault. Like, come on. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand people sometimes. That that's what makes me pissed off. Because also, when she hit me, she didn't come over and she didn't like she didn't ask me. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Or, um. Is everything okay with you? I'm so sorry. I hit you. And she knows it was her fault. She ran her red light. We had, like, three witnesses. Okay, well, we only had one. But he said that she ran the red light. And um, she didn't come over. She didn't say sorry. She didn't ask if I was okay at all. And that's what pissed me off the most. Because if something is clearly your fault, and even with me, if something is clearly my fault, I will own up to it. I'll be like, Oh my gosh, that was a total accident. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? If I was her, I would have done that because it was obviously her fault. And that's what pissed me off the most. And I, I, just, I don't understand people sometimes. And it just pisses me off. And then her insurance lady, she decides to call me up. And she's talking to me about the whole accident, and which is like, like routine. That's what you do when you get an accident. You get in contact with their insurance, your insurance, all that stuff. You guys, I don't know if you guys want to hear about that, but... She's asking me like these stupid ass questions and she was she had an attitude. She was a bitch. She was just like Did you see my client coming? And I'm like, I'm going straight and my light was green. I'm not looking like like I'm not uh, uh, So I was cuz I was almost I was almost at school. I was going to class and I was almost there. It was the intersection right before my school, right? And I was like, honestly, I didn't see her because I'm going straight. I'm not going to look over here. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not turning. I'm not turning. You know what I mean? So if I'm going straight, I'm looking straight. That's what I said to her. And she's like, did you feel that it was safe to uh, cross the intersection? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, and why is that? And I'm like, honey, to me, green means go. Like, and she's like, okay. I'm like, this is a stupid question. Like, hello, I don't know what world you live in, all right, people? Or not you guys, but that lady. <laughs> but green means go and red means stop. I think that's universal, no? I, I have no idea, but she needs to get her shit straight because it was her fault. She finally lived up to it. She finally admitted it was her fault. It was her responsibility. But it took her a fucking week. Hello? You got a fucking ticket and you think it's not your fault. Anyway, so that was that. That was my Monday, and I just wanted to, like, vlog to you guys and let you guys know what was happening. If you don't follow me on Twitter, that's what that's what happened. I was so pissed, and I was tweeting about, like, insurance people and stuff, like, but anyway, so I have a haul for you guys. I think that's kind of bad. Is that bad? Um, you guys know I'm on my Project 10 pan, so I've been, like, shopping for, like, clothes and stuff. That's still allowed. Yeah. I'm sure that's still allowed. I can still buy clothes. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. In the very, very, very beginning, I swear, like the first day I started my Project 10 pan, the first day I posted the video, I had to go buy like two things because I really wanted them. And they were on sale now. They were buy one, get one free at that time. Not now. Just kidding. It was when I posted my Project 10 pan video. And I, they were buy one, get one free. So I had to get it, you guys. So that's my justification for me buying makeup during my Project 10 pan. So... They were buy one, get one free, and it's what I've really wanted to try lately. So, I'm going to show you guys because I don't want to lie to you guys and tell you guys, oh, I didn't buy anything, like, during my Project 10 pan. Oh, my God, you know. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got. But after this, I didn't buy anything else. I seriously, I went to, like, three different malls and the outlets, and I didn't buy any makeup. Because after this stuff, I felt kind of guilty because I'm like, I'm on Project 10 pan, but these were on sale, so I had to get it. So, I got them. But after this stuff, I, I didn't buy anything else. So I wanted to, I really wanted to try Maybelline foundation because everybody's raving about this. And you guys know I love my Revlon color stay. So I tried these. I didn't know what color I was. So I got natural tan and classic beige. And right now, I'm classic beige. Because I'm super light right now. Like, what the fuck? But whatever. So I got these two. They were bowing again free. I had to do it, you guys. That's my justification. So I'm sorry I didn't live up to Project 10 Pan, but this was in the very beginning. I've been doing really well for the past, like, week or two. I forget. And then also from Maybelline, I got their lipsticks, the Color Sensational Lipsticks, and a lot of people love these, and I got it in the famous Pink Please that everybody's loving. Look how pretty that is. And these were buy one, get one free, so you guys can't even say, like, oh my god, you bought makeup. 
I know I bought makeup. That's why I'm showing it to you. <laughs> and then I got Make Me Pink. Make Me Pink. So pretty. So that's all the makeup stuff I got. And <clears throat> that's my justification for it. I actually borrowed a blush from my girlfriend, so it's not mine. I didn't buy it, so I borrowed it because I've been wanting this blush, but I was like, you know, let me try it first to see if I really, really like it. And it's a cargo blush, so this is my girlfriend. And when I say girlfriend, you guys, I don't mean, like, lover. I mean, like, a friend that's a girl. I always, I, I, like, bleh. I've always been saying girlfriend because they're my friends and they're girls, so. But, yeah, my girlfriend, Lita, she let me borrow her cargo blush. And this one is in Tonga. And, yeah, I've always wanted this blush. It looks like this. But I'm not allowed to buy makeup. I did buy that stuff, but this was, like, two weeks after I bought that stuff. And I was like, I can't buy any more makeup because I'll be breaking the rules. But this is Tonga. It's a pretty matte blush. And I think it's so pretty. It looks so pretty on me. And it just gives you a pretty glow. I don't know. It's just really pretty, but that's what it looks like. And this I didn't buy. It's my friend's. I borrowed it, but I just decided to show you guys. If you guys want to go check it out, I think it's really pretty. The only thing that I don't like about it is it's $25 or $24, $24 or $25, and that's a lot for a blush for me. Um, so I'm still debating if I want to go buy my, my own, but this is hers. So, <sighs> yeah, anyway. Now, I did do some clothes shopping, and not really clothes, like, yeah, clothes, I guess. So let me just show you guys what I got. Um, let's start with the shoes. I went to Charlotte Russe. Okay, Charlotte Russe. And if you guys have seen all my other hauls, you've seen my, um, ooh, <clears throat> that wasn't me. That was the box. You've seen my tan boots. I got the same boot in black, Okay. So pretty. I love these buckles right here. And they're so cute. And I love them. So I got them. And these were $40. And then, if you guys have a Charlotte Russe, like, around you, then you guys know that they have the, you know, last pair kind of thing. If it's the last pair of shoes, then they're, they'll be automatically half off. And I got these gray pumps. Aren't these so cute? They were $12.50 because they were the last pair. And they were my size. So they're really high. But I don't have pumps. And especially I don't have gray ones. So these are so cute. And I love them. Okay, they look like that. And they were $12.50. You can't pass that up. $12.50 for pumps. I got this top. It's like this blue lacy top. It's see-through. But I would wear like a cami or something under it. It's just so pretty. I don't have a lot of blue clothes at all. I don't wear blue that much. So I got that. So cute. And this was really cheap. It was like $7 on sale. Okay. And then Forever 21, I got um, these tights. I already took them out of the packaging. <laughs> but they're so cute. I don't know how to explain it. They are like a, a fishnet here. But then down the side of your leg, it's this lace. Let me try to show you guys. It's this pretty lace. So it's fishnet here, and then there's lace. Can you guys? Mm, let me try it on for you guys. You can see this fishnet here, and then there's a pretty, pretty lace going down, like a stripe of lace. So that's what they look like, and they look so cute. Okay, so my most favorite and most excited purchase that I have recently is... I don't know if you guys have got, ever gotten into um, the brand Puma, but they have like track jackets, track suits, shoes, and purses and bags and gym bags and stuff. And I'm sorry, I'm like out of breath. Anyway, um, I've always wanted a Puma bag, and I don't know why. I just thought they were so cute. So I finally got myself a Puma bag, and I got this blue one that looks like vintage and like, you know, beaten up a little bit. And it's so cute, and I just want to wear it like this on my arm. Or you can just put it on your shoulder. But I love it. It looks, it can be a gym bag, but I can also wear it with like, you know, skinny jeans, some pumps, and like a white tee or something. So cute. So it was originally $75, but I got it for $35 because it was at the outlet. 
So I'm so happy I finally got the Puma bag I've always wanted. So it's a really good size. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Let me show you. See? So that is that, and that's my Puma bag. Some people don't like Puma, but for some strange reason, I've always wanted a Puma bag, and I don't know why. And I finally got it. So that's my entire video, and thank you so much for watching. I know it was really long. It was like a, lot, a vlog and everything. But, oh, let me show you my bruise. Look at that. It's like yellow. It's so ugly. It's from my car accident. I have another bruise on my hip, and my back hurts, and my neck hurts because the impact, like, when she hit me. It was kind of like, ugh, because I, w I wasn't, like, ready for it, obviously, and so my lower back was, like, cute. Anyway, okay, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Love ya, bye.